You guys know me. I don't like I don't like messes very much. So you married one. I like projects though. <laughs> oh. Hello and good morning, everyone. We're starting out this day half ready. <laughs> But you know what? My hair is washed, and that means I got up and got a shower. I had a funny thing happen. I was like, I have to wake up at 6.30. I always try to be ready before the kids leave the house because I feel like once they leave, then it's like getting stuff done. So I need to start like right away. This morning, my alarm went off at 6.30. I was like, I've got to get up. Close my eyes for a minute longer. And then I think I fell asleep and had a dream that I went through every step of getting in the shower, washing my hair, blow drying my hair. And then I woke up and I was like, my hair is dry. I totally slept through it all. So. We're running a little bit late today. Mr. Brexy Doodle. Can you tell everyone good morning? Good morning. <laughs> good morning, everyone. You guys, it's a great day. All right, let's get you guys to school. Kirby, you are ready for school, except for you are missing one thing. Can you think of what that one thing might be? Coat. Yes, good job. All right, Brexy Doodle, coat check, backpack check. Looking handsome, check, 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 check. Oh, hi, Hazy. I got lunch for you. I got lunch for you. Oh, thank you. I really want a kinetic sand for lunch, so that is beyond perfect. Can I leave my lunch right here so I don't spill it in the car, though? Yeah. I'm gonna leave it right there. Let's yeah. get these boys to school. Okay. Miss Hazel is ready. I have to laugh because it's funny, I did not do this on purpose. When I do people's nails, the color that they choose always matches their outfit. When you wake up some days, you just feel like a certain color scheme. And I have to laugh that most days when I wear this yellow sweater, I usually put her in something yellow because I'm feeling that color. I absolutely love this mustard color. Hazy and I are matching today. We get to be twinners. I'm gonna drop this sweet girl off at school. I have parent teacher conferences with all the kids' teachers. Find out exactly how they're doing. I already spoke with Cruz's teacher. She says, you know what? He is so good. I don't feel like you and I really need to meet. I did a class party for his teacher last week and so she talked with me and she said, you know what, Crew is doing so great. And normally, you know, if she felt like there was a concern, she'd wanna to talk to me, but I talked to her pretty regularly. So today I'm meeting with Brexton, Hazel, and Ryler's teacher to find out how they're doing. I will make sure to return and report and let you guys know. Today is a day filled with parent-teacher conferences. We've got Hazy's right now. We're about to go take her to parent-teacher conference. And did you guys match on purpose-ish? I talked That's about kind that. Of oh, you did, okay, I love it. You guys look amazing. Hazy's is right now, parent-teacher conference. We're a little bit worried. We know that she interrupts people when they're oh, talking. If you haven't seen that like video, go check dad. it out. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyways, <laughs> moving on. Then after that, we do have Ryler's later this afternoon. But in between all of the parent-teacher conference madness, the parents need some sustenance, and so we're heading to In-N-Out, guys. Food Palooza, we feel it coming to an end. We need to celebrate today by going to In-N-Out. Well, that's mostly just because all my pants are getting tied again. Yeah. Yep, yep, the old gym shorts were not quite fitting like they used to today. We had three weeks of just, what would you call that? Slosh fest. Savagery. Just eating everything in sight. So we've had some fun. Time to dial it back. Food Palooza potentially coming to an end. Don't hold us to it. We just feel like it's coming to an end. So we're gonna go eat a bunch uh, real quick. I honestly haven't felt well. We need to be better. Cause you guys know we dieted pretty hard in preparation for Hawaii. We love it. It does. It feels Hashtag good. Hashtag worth it. Yeah, it was. Like you just feel good. You feel better. You have more energy. It's all good. <laughs> then we got back. We thought, you know what? Well, let's have some fun eating some stuff that we've been denying ourselves. But it's time to get back to some healthy eating, some lighter eating, maybe just less eating. Not before we have some in and out today. And smash some ice cream, I hope. And then we were out. Did you just say that? Yep. In and out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so All right, let's go get the boys from school. B, there's something on our window. Will you get it? Did somebody hit our car? That's what I'm wondering. If did they hit our car? <laughs> <laughs> what? It says hi, Bingham. <laughs> <laughs> they must have seen us walk in. Hi, Bingham's. We love you. Lucy, Oliver, and Miles. Yes! What up, Lucy, Oliver, and Miles? We hope you had a great time in In and Out. Thank you for the note. That's amazing. That's so, funny. <laughs> so cool. That is awesome. Had some friends that went to In and Out as well. Left us a little note on the car. Thank well, we... you so much. Mom has been giving me an extra bit of sass today. Just about everything I say, she mocks and makes fun of. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun with her right now. She comes out of the post office. We were parked down there by that red truck right there. So mom comes out, hoping she turns that way and looks for us. We are in Cognito over here in the corner. She found me. Remember, it's cold out here. <laughs> Sorry, I was repositioning to be able to pick you up more easily. I would not do that. I'm just trying to get in a spot where you can get in easily. You just put it in front. Well, that's what you do before you leave. <laughs> Mindy, <laughs> you almost jumped on top of that. 
<laughs> this is dangerous. Everyone will tell you that it's dangerous. Oh, I just want to slam the gas right now. <laughs> we have been tracking very closely. I don't even know what to say about this, you guys. As you know, yesterday's video was focused on Jared and Britt's channel getting shut down, relaunched, and asking you to please go and follow. Well, guys, we've been tracking their progress closely today, and our minds are literally blown, you guys. They just passed 10,000 subscribers. Oh my gosh. Mind literally blown. They're freaking out. We're freaking out. The whole Bingham family's freaking out. Cannot believe and cannot thank you guys enough. You guys did this. This was you guys running over there in full This is How We're Being Enforced and supporting them, subscribing to their channel, following their journey. This is absolutely incredible. So I just text Mindy. She's out at Rag Guys Parent Teacher Conference. Said, hey, when you get done, go grab the 10K balloons. It's going down tonight. They hit 10,000 their first day. You guys are the greatest. You guys are the greatest family on the internet. Thank you so much. We're going to get the 10K balloons. We're going to take them over. We're going to invite Daniel and Michelle. Got to get Dan and Shell in on the action. So we're going to invite them to go out with us to go surprise Jared and Brittany. Welcome them into the 10K club, giving them their first set of celebratory balloons. And you guys are coming with us. These two just got back from Parent Teacher Conference. This is actually the first time the whole family hasn't gone. We made an observation that we're really usually the only ones that have the whole family go. It can be distracting, so well, we decided to try just Mom and Rag Guy this time. Well, and it's usually like, stop jumping over there. Stop acting like that. Just <laughs> well, sit still. Yeah, stop trashing the poor teacher's room is what yeah. it usually is. So guys, this time, just these two. So they just got back, and I want to find out real time right now in front of you guys, in front of the entire TIHWB family. Do you want to tell them, right Guy? How much trouble are you in, bro? Um, he has to clean desks for a month. Oh my gosh. Serious though. I no, that. she said he is so smart. His teacher is a genius. She has them grade themselves how they think they're doing, and it really gives them the opportunity to evaluate their behavior. Sometimes that makes you look inside and go, you know, I could work on this. You I could work what? on this. So, Rag Guy, tell me the truth, bro. How did it go? He's doing great. He is proficient in like every single one of his subjects in school. The only thing that he though. needs to work on is maybe stop chit chatting to friends. Okay, it sounds like maybe my son. The other thing is maybe work on his handwriting a little bit. So Ooh, I told her, I said, he's really lucky like because <laughs> I've got it from dad. He doesn't bring as much homework home. Last year, if he brought a page home that you couldn't read, you want to tell him what happened? She erased the entire thing and, and made him do it. it again. Better handwriting. So just imagine like That's an entire mom. paragraph I did and then I did it in sort of sloppy handwriting. <laughs> sort of sloppy. She erased Illegible. it. Illegible. Just imagine if you wrote it neatly. <laughs> the first time. The first time. She loves having him in her class. He's a little sweetheart. So he's doing awesome. All of the kids' parent teacher conferences done in one day. Rag Guy, congratulations, bro. Smash the like button for Rag Guy's positive parent-teacher conference. And Cruz was so good, they didn't even have to have it. And Hazy's was so good, we got to go in and out after. And Brexy. That's can you breathe? Can you breathe? <laughs> <laughs> Brexy Doodle. Bro, All do right. you even know how your parent-teacher conference went? Parent-teacher you know? conference for Brexit. I planned his parent-teacher conferences five minutes before his class got out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I have to laugh because they took him to the office because he's like, I can't find my mom. <laughs> so he was out there waiting for pickup alone, no cars in okay. sight. Okay, he was not alone. Left he was with his stranded. teacher. Stranded. Oh my gosh. I would never do that to you, Brexy. I got a little distracted talking to Brexton's teacher, and I even got emotional talking to her because she says, you know what? My only goal is to have kids have fun and to make it a positive learning environment. And so I started telling her that I said he loves school so much and he's so shy. And she goes, he is not shy. <laughs> Brexy doodle. But I told her that when we were school? in Hawaii, randomly he looked at me and said, Mom, I bet my teacher's missing me. And I told her that it was right then that I knew just how much he loved his teacher and how much he loved school. <laughs> School because he was missing her. That's how I knew. He is doing so great. He knows everything that he should. We're super proud of our kiddos today. Brexy, They've been good. That makes a hundred percent amazing parent teacher conference reports. Was anybody surprised? Would anybody expect anything less from these little studs and that little princess? No way. No. How, did we talk about Hazel's? No, we stuffed our faces instead. We stuffed our faces in and out. But the one thing I did want to tell you guys, if you guys all remember, Hazy broke her arm right before school, got a cast on her very first day of school ever. So if you haven't watched that video, go watch it. She said she's a little teeny, teeny, teeny bit behind in a fine motor skills, but everything else is going great. She's great at talking, so she's definitely my child. No, she's got that down. <laughs> As mom has alluded to, we do have another rumor model coming for you. It was an unexpected, unplanned, kind of unanticipated rumor model. What we're finding is that when you want to mess with one room, you end up messing with a few more. So right now, we're down here in the, it does not look like it, but this is the swag store, the merch room. It certainly just looks like a giant pigsty. <laughs> so this is like also a really fun toy room that the kids kind of play with. It's mostly like if other kids come over, they come down here, everybody has a party and trashes it, and then leave and then no one comes back in here again. And then mom is left to work right here in this desk in the corner. Sometimes not that fun when covered in toys, dolls, castles, clubhouses, things like that. So we're making some room for some stuff that's been misplaced upstairs, hasn't had a home. The new home's gonna be down here, but in order to do that, we've gotta clean this area out. We also are making room for some hot new merch, you yeah, guys. Yeah, guys, today I found
found. I found the new shirts we're gonna do. So the we're new gonna look. get them ordered. Ooh. We're also gonna bring some new things in the shop. A lot of you have been asking about sweatshirts. We will not be carrying any more sweatshirts until fall. But well, we're going into summer, so we're gonna be moving into like a more summery lineup. So we're yeah. gonna be doing more t-shirts. We have some other cool ideas. Hawaii inspired, I will say, kind of. No, no not really. Okay, it's not really Hawaii Possibly inspired, but we got the idea in Hawaii, so <laughs> it's kind uh, of yeah. Hawaii inspired. So anyways, I'm anxious to get these shelves filled up again. In fact, I have orders I need to fill, and I was coming down here to do that, and I thought, I cannot work in these conditions! So if you made an order, I'm gonna be working on those. Hopefully I'll get to them tonight and I'll ship them out tomorrow. But I just had to come down here and straighten some things up, get some things so I can handle this. You guys know me, I don't like, I don't like messes very much, so. You married one. Oh, it's true. <laughs> I like projects though. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> guys, Hazy's on no nap today. We're trying something new. If you follow us on Instagram, I don't know if you ever said it much in the vlog, but she gets up at random times all night, 3 a.m., easily always by 6 a.m. She is up and walking around the house. We're gonna see if maybe depriving her of a nap is gonna get her to sleep through the night. But she is crazy hazy right now. <laughs> Running on fumes here as the night winds down. <laughs> I'm gonna head off. We are doing a little something with the young men here in the neighborhood, as you guys know, I work with them. Tonight we are doing a cereal night. I don't know what could be more Bingham than that, so I'm gonna go show them how to pound cereal. Can't wait for that. <laughs> Meanwhile, mom is here writing thank yous to all of you amazing subscribers out there who have sent in incredible things. You guys are the greatest. Seriously, we mean that. We see it all the time, every day. I feel like I'm leaving a little bit more today watching you guys rise to the occasion, going over and supporting my brother is fantastic. When I get back, speaking of that, we are gonna go over and surprise them with their 10K balloons. We're gonna go pick up Dan and Shell. We're gonna go hit them up together and welcome them into the 10K club. Thanks to you guys. It's going down right now. The 10K celebration is about to begin. But guys, we couldn't do this alone. We had to bring in Dan and Shelton. This is the Hold on, so the balloons are deflating. We're gonna go in. The balloons actually do not hold their helium at all in the cold. Guys, I'm trying to explain all this. Everyone's running away from me. We've had a lot of help from my parents on this one, you guys. Because of where Jared and Brittany live. Okay, here we go. So guys, we've got we've got them in. We're gonna let, we're gonna have this guy sneak us in. And then we're gonna get in here. We're gonna surprise Jared and Brittany. Thank you. Here we go. Way easier. Okay, sweetie, come over here where they couldn't see us. We are here at Jared and Brittany's place. We got Dan and Shell with us to yeah. celebrate. Oh, we're trying to talk quiet because they're literally just right out there. We don't want to spoil the surprise. It's coming the alive. air is coming back. It's alive. This is happening, come you guys. Alive. You saw us do this for Shell and Daniel. We went to their house with the 10K balloons. It's just a fun ceremonial okay, inaugural. Here. Welcoming into, welcoming Tell into. <laughs> <laughs> the 10k club and because of you guys because of how amazing you are these guys hit 10k today So we're going up there with the balloons to celebrate my parents had to help out by making them think that they were gonna go out to ice cream with my parents tonight what So that we could on? pull this whole thing off. We got Lou with us. We're going up there right now. Let's go Here's my fridge. Just followers. They do not know we're coming. They think it's my parents I'm so nervous No ice cream, just balloons. Sorry. <laughs> freaking 10K, you guys. Oh my gosh. You guys freaking did it, baby. 10K, suckers. Hang those balloons up, bro. Hey, I like that hat, man. I like that hat. That is a stylish hat. Ice cream. Just took the obligatory almost, but epic 10K picture. Oh yeah! 
Yeah. We're air dropping it around to everybody, so make sure you check out everybody's Instagram so you can see the picture three Woo. times because we only took one picture. And we took a sweet boomy too, so we got the boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much fun. Thank you guys so much for jumping over and supporting all these guys. You guys know how we bring them. One, two, three. Thank, Thank you. you. We love you. <laughs> Today was an awesome day. Parent-teacher conferences from top to bottom. It's not like we're ever expecting anything less than amazing things about the kids. Oh yeah, but you know it's just I mean? a little reassurance. But it's like, so nice to no, hear that and go, your okay. kids are doing awesome. They actually like, are great kids. Yes. We're not the only ones who think so. <laughs> Phenomenal parent-teacher conferences. Yeah, proud of them. Foodapalooza coming to an end. I don't know if we ever really talked about Foodapalooza. We just kind of decided to eat a bunch of junk when we got home from Hawaii. We decided whenever we got back from Hawaii, we would have Foodapalooza, which is means we would eat all day, every day. Just don't, don't say no to anything. And now it's back to saying no to a lot of stuff. But so. now I'm saying no to my skinny jeans because I'm only fitting into my bigger jeans. Very funny, very good. Amazing celebrating the 10K with Jared and Britt. That was awesome. All because of you guys. I want you guys to know, I know you know this, but this is our, this is how a Bingham family just spreading and sharing Coming the love. Out full force. Across all Bingham. So great to see Dan and Shell tonight. Make sure you're subscribed to their channel if you're not. I'll put links to both channels in the description as well as in the end card so you guys can click on those and subscribe to their channels and follow the Bingham's adventures around the world. One little reminder, I'm going to say it every day until Saturday. If you're not, go over to our Instagram at this is how we Bingham. Mm. Make sure you follow us there. There is a giveaway there. We are giving away one of our favorite games, so go ahead and enter that. A few really fun things coming out this weekend. We oh yeah, just, I'm excited. Yeah, planned it all out. It's going to be amazing. A couple of amazing vlogs coming your way, so do it's not miss them. Cool. Make sure you're subscribed and come back every day because we love you. We'll we see you guys you. tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> I love your dance. What is this dance? Ha <laughs> ha.